So great to see you. So how's your hair doing this year? You tell me. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's looking great. So tell us about Oklahoma tonight. Well, I mean, Oklahoma is a great choice for a, an opening night film. We got a restoration here nearly 60 years after it's released. Um, you know, there's something... Oklahoma works great on your couch, but Oklahoma works a little better in the Chinese theater with a thousand other people who are desperate to sing along, you know. Uh, so it's that's an experience, you know. I was talking to Leonard Malton earlier, and we're talking about all these reasons why this movie's good and why the fact. And you forget, like, wait a minute, it's fun. Like Oklahoma's fun. It's uplifting. It's joyous. And when you're joyous and uplifted, you want to do that around a bunch of other people. So are you going to break into a song? I'm going to be across the street doing a Q&A for American Graffiti. But I might if I was able to stay. All right. Can you do a little song now? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. I tried. <laughs> you, gave it a, you, gave it, you gave it the college try. So tell us uh, where else are you going to be at the festival? There's so many things to cover, but where can we find Ben? I'll be doing a uh, Q&A before we show American Graffiti with some stars of the film. I'll be interviewing Quincy Jones this weekend before the Italian job. He did the music for that. Um, I'll be interviewing Jerry Lewis on Saturday. I'll be doing a Charlton Heston commemorative stamp ceremony tomorrow. I will be interviewing Anna Kendrick before we show the women because she cares about that film and I'm leaving a ton of stuff out but all I'm interviewing Richard Dreyfus before the goodbye girl Alan Arkin before the heart is a lonely hunter I have a busy week you're gonna be busy yes fantastic so uh, what about the the spirit of the festival and uh, is this like your family yeah it, it really I mean it's the family that that loves you and praises you and is ready to slap you in the face if you do anything wrong. You know, the relationship that we have at TCM to our fans is unlike anything else in television. Nothing is like it. I love Mad Men and Breaking Bad and I love The Americans and Justified and Game of Thrones and Boardwalk Empire and Ray Donovan, but I don't feel any connection to HBO or to Showtime or to FX or to AMC. Nobody does. I love sports. I don't feel protective of ESPN, but every one of these people here at this festival feels like it's their responsibility to protect these movies and to protect TCM and to watch us and make sure that we're doing our job right. And that has created a very special bond. There, you know, the word community is thrown around, and is, but there is a very broad TCM community, which we have expanded every year, but we have never lost that close-knit sense, I think, that we created the first year of the festival. I, I totally agree. Every year I come, it's really special, and, and, and it is a community. But so, okay, if the community asked you to sing a song, would you? Nope. <laughs> All right, well, have a good festival. And oh, the, the, come on, come on. Nope, nope. <laughs> right. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, thanks. Thanks a lot.